Ralph say knocked out the FA Cup in the end, losing one nil against FC Halifax. Give us your thoughts on the game first of all. Pride again, really. I, I said it same on Saturday. Just the, the pride of the performance from the players, the way they dug in, the way they they made the game hard work. And I think the biggest compliment I can give our boys is that they gained the respect of the Halifax players, they gained the respect of the Halifax coaching staff and and their supporters really. And it was a game that we had to obviously stay compact. They moved the ball really well, and we knew that they would on this pitch, but. We obviously had to stay in the game and then sort of gamble with the last 15 or 20. And as you've seen, I think for the last 15 or 20, they're sort of playing on the counter and we're the ones forcing the issue. But disappointed, obviously, but, but proud of the players and, and proud of the old day. You look at the away following, 562, I think I've just seen on, on social media away fans in here making a racket all the way through. It's never been known for our football club and we have to be proud, but we have to channel that into to making sure we try and deliver more of these days. Like you say, last last 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, it were really m most of us pushing forward to try and get that goal. How close do you think we came in the end and, and do we probably think we might have deserved something or we a fair result in the end? If you're looking at the overall play, then you'd have to say it's probably the fair result. We, we're in the changing room saying our efforts deserve more, which is natural. We, we obviously, we've worked hard, we've dug in, which you, which you have to do. Listen, the third in the National League, they're a really good side and... And not only that, I want to go on record just just saying how good they were as, as people in terms of the way that they were with our players, the way that they were when they came to us on Saturday, the way the management had been, and, and they've been really good with everyone. So I genuinely hope they go on and have a, have a successful season. But I think we've we've come really close. One or two flashes across the face of the goal in the last five minutes. I think Gav has tried to head that one. I think it's four or five yard arch come off his shoulder and... Just not to be really, but we've got to be proud of his efforts. But now we've got to channel that into into making sure as league as league standing becomes more respectable because it's no good just being an FA Cup side. We have to make sure we, we produce better days in the league. Definitely, like you said, the, our our cup form this year and especially these last two games against Halifax. How do we put that into our league form now? Showing the same desire, the same attitude, the same fight for each other, the same work rate. Um, it, it's easy to sort of get yourself up for the so-called bigger games like we've come to here, but you have to make sure you do it in the bread and butter week in, week out, because that's what ultimately makes seasons become successful. So we have to make sure we channel what we've done over that 180 minutes throughout the season. Um, and hopefully we're coming up a, sometimes again, obviously against lesser opposition who are at our level. So you would hope the, the chances that fall, we can be a little bit more clinical. Um, but as I say, I, I don't want to be too overcritical. I don't want to assess it too much now because the players have been brilliant over 180 minutes and matched the National League side and, and for that they deserve massive credit and I can only be proud of them. One final word on on the, the support over the two games. How, how, uh, how sort of good is it to see the following both home and away and, and see in the end 526 fans out singing the, the Halifax fans? I've been at the club on and off for 13 years. Um, I don't think, uh, well I know I've never seen anything like it. Uh, the, I think the the performance on Saturday captured the imagination of the supporters and, and thought maybe we could come here and do the job and they've come and backed us, you can see that they were vocal from start to finish, it, it gives the players a huge lift and some of our players were dead out on the feet, 70-75 minutes of dead on the feet after two tough games but the support gets you through and I genuinely hope some of them supporters come back and be, become neutral supporters at, at our ground and make sure we lift our attendances because it does make a massive difference and if we sort of get them, we're not going to get them followings every week, but if we can get a fraction of them followings, the club's going to grow and in turn the, the support will grow and the, the old club, it'll give the, the town a club to be proud of. So that's our aim. It's what we have to strive towards, producing more of them days. But the overriding feelings hurt, but we're proud of the support, proud of the players and, and proud of the full club. Brilliant effort, mate. Well done.